It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Badger Ales and it's a bottle of their Blandford Flyer coming in at 5.2% ABV. It's their ginger beer. And the inclusion of ginger in the beer was rumoured to remedy the bites of the Blandford Fly. The fly fishermen, the fishermen down there would obviously get bitten and uh, why not have a good ginger beer just to, even just for an excuse. To say that yes it's cured my bites from the Blanford fly. Anyway there's the ball cap. Gold ball cap black writing. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Now I'm quite late with this, probably about four years late. Badger Ales were kind enough to send to my wife, Craft Beer Lady, or she was then known as Mrs. Real Ale Guide, about four years ago. And she reviewed this and she really enjoyed it. Um, why is it taking me so long to review it? I don't know, perhaps there's just so many beaters out there that it's just taking me a little while to get round to it. But Badger Ales were kind enough to send me the beer. Not my wife. Me. And now I'm giving it, giving it a review. So, beer in the glass. Look at that. Really nice clarity to the beer. I think they pride themselves, Badger, on the clarity. They want the clarity of the beer to look great. So, it's not a bottle conditioned beer. It's a golden amber coloured beer. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass and it's a two to three finger slightly off white head. Let's get the aroma. Ginger beer? Yes, most certainly. It's very spicy, really big spicy biting ginger brew in the aroma. Then you pick up an element of sweetness from the malt. Five point two percent ABV. This is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a. I suppose it's the seventeenth or the eighteenth of December, so it's, it's middle of winter. This could probably. I know they're advertising it as a summer beer. You know, you'd normally fish in the summer on the rivers. But I think this could serve just as well as a winter warmer. Let's find out. Cheers. Very sweet up front. Really sweet beer. It's malty, it's bready. And that ginger bite on the back end. It's a slow builder. You kind of... Ginger in this, in the aroma, was so big, so bold, so brash. I was expecting it to really grip hold of my throat and bite me. It is. It's a nice level of bitterness. It's, um, I'm saying bitterness, I mean ginger bite. But it's not overly kind of done. Nice levels of carbonation. Yeah, it's quite sweet. I think for me, personally, it's a little bit too sweet. Why they brewed it so sweet, I'm not too sure. Per perhaps to kind of offset that ginger. They're saying in the taste is sweet, refreshing, with a ginger spice and the aroma is ginger spice and toffee I described it as ginger and like a bready biscuity malty aroma which you could probably say is toffee it depends on your own palate uh, golden amber to see but yeah they're saying it's a sweet beer sweet refreshing with a ginger spice it certainly is refreshing If you've got a sweet tooth and you want the odd ginger beer, then this is for you. You'd like it. 
I always ask myself the question, would I buy it again? Would I drink it again? I think if I was in a bar that sold some kind of ordinary generic lagers, then I'd have a point of this. But for me personally, it's a one beer drink. It's a little bit too sweet for my taste. And that really boils down to, 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 to most of it. Most of the review is that, yes, I like it, but it's too sweet. The ginger kick is nice. And so I suppose the next thing I need to move on to is to ask the question, was this beer a beer that was brewed to session? And I've got to be honest, I don't think it is. I don't think even Badger want you to session this beer. This 5.2% ABV, for a session beer that's a little bit high, I think this is more of a speciality. This is more of a, with a meal, maybe with a nice sticky toffee pudding or something to go well with that sweetness. Maybe a bit of cheese to offset that ginger. And then move on to another beer. I think that's probably what Badger would want as well. There are other beers in their range that they would like you to session, which obviously you could session their Tanglefoot, their Thirsty Ferret. What's that up there? First Call. They're kind of session beers. I think this, as I just mentioned, is a more of a speciality brew that you'd have one of. So, rating them for Badger Blanford Flyer. It's not bad. It's all right. It's just a bit sweet for me. But as I said, everybody's got their own palate. Everybody got their own taste. If you like sweet beer, then this could very well be for you. My rating on this would be a six out of 10. It's just too sweet for me. Tell me your thoughts. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.